you join us at Castello di Rodel Castle in this region and it has some absolutely stunning views and we're now back on the road heading towards the Algarve for a little break for a couple of days looking forward to it hon yeah it's gonna be really nice yeah going to the coast see your family get in the sea yeah have some seafood yeah lots of sea related things yeah, sounds good. The last time we were at a beach was for Guerra de Foz. They had some massive waves there, didn't they? Yeah, you didn't want to get in the water. And it was in May last year that we visited and it was quite quiet. But I'm not sure what to expect of the Algarve. Do you reckon it's going to be touristy? Yeah, just a bit. Oh, well. We'll soon find out. So where are we heading to now? Um, I'm not actually sure. Some Roman columns in the middle of a uh, Evora. And you say there's a calf there as well? Apparently. Hopefully we can get some lunch. If not, Ooh. I'm sure there's another restaurant in Evora. Little stone in the road there. There's the car set up on the hill. Oh yeah, it's quite a small castle, isn't it? It's more of a tower than a castle. I'd love to go fishing in one of these rivers. Oh yeah. Massive catfish. Catfish? Catfish, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a live catfish before. Oh, they get huge in yeah. rivers like this in warm places. I bet. Oh, we're going over the bridge. We are going over the bridge. Johnny. You could have really over a bridge, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, what if he was to start falling through? You'd want to be on the back wheel. That's true. Safety first. Maybe we can see them on the way back. I'm not 
not sure where it is. I'll send them a message and see. We have been trying to meet up with them for a little while now. Could have rock. Yeah, lovely. I was just thinking that. quite far down it but you need a safe. Lovely bit of road. I think that's our quote isn't it? Lovely bit of road. <laughs> seat around here. <laughs> Just one cheek to one cheek. So stand up and adjust for a moment. Roman ruins. A couple of hours. One fifty. Okay. So we just enter in Nissa now. This is quite nice. Very nice. Look at that. Nice. Big pot with fake water coming out of it. Like a vase thing, decanter. And this is quite a nice place, isn't it? Yeah. I think where we went to the other day, that pool place, that was nicer though. That was very nice. I quite liked it there. Lovely river beach. Oh, we're going to have to go back there now, aren't we? Because there's that extra bit that we missed just past where we was. Yeah, a couple of viewers have mentioned if you go a bit further up the river, there's a nice granite pool 
area that we didn't see so yeah which is supposed to be even more pretty so they say so we'll have to go and check that out we do need fuel at some point soon yeah we do Twenty minutes later. How far to the petrol station? Twenty-five miles. It must be a service station on here. My fuel light's flashing. Twenty-four miles and it's dead straight flat. I'll get in sixth gear and just cruise then and hopefully it's gonna last. Yeah. Is that car behind you? Yeah. I'll oh, just accelerate a bit until so he's gone. Villa. Is where we are. A lot of Portuguese tiles on houses up there. Yeah. Oh, that was a short lived moment. Bena Villa is over. That is it. That is the whole of Bena Villa. village of Avis. Ah. Oh, it's warm. It is. 29 degrees. Later. Why are you sitting like that? Because I'm a Buddhist monk meditating. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Nice archway. I wonder where we are. In Aura. Oh, this is Aura, is it? Pretty sure it is, yeah. I haven't seen a welcome sign. There it is, got graffiti on it. Ah. Oh. And this is where the Roman ruins are that we're going to see? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a calf there. We're one minute away from the Roman things. I think we might come back and sit there. That looks like it might do food. Hmm. Maybe we should get food first because it's getting <coughs> a bit late. Should we go there? Or oh, you want to stop here first? Yeah, can do. Alright, we'll pull down here then. Places stop doing food at a certain time, don't they? They do, yeah. He had a right... He had a fucking cater on. Yeah, I know. That was very interesting. Never trust other road users.
Ah, just had a notification from Airbnb. Ready to check in? Not quite. We're halfway to the Algarve, aren't we? Oh, well, no, I think we're only about two hours away. Hmm. thought it was another three. After parking up the bikes, we headed to the nearest cafe, which was this one called Beaker Beakers. And we each ordered a Prato de Dia. How's your plate of the day? Amazing. No, I what it is. <coughs> Meat. Really For dessert, Johnny chose this strange looking chocolate cone thing. It's so dense. Luckily, we had some pastel donatas too. Then we hopped back on the bikes to explore a bit of Evora. Evora is the capital of Portugal's south-central Alentejo region. In the city's historic centre stands the ancient Roman temple of Evora, which is what we are going to see. As we rode out of this residential area, we started to see more of the city's history, where we approached the walls of Evora which dates back to the 3rd century during the period of Romanization, according to a couple of sources online. The walls of Evora have undergone various changes and restorations by different peoples, including Romans, Visigoths, Moors and medieval Portuguese. They have served as fortified defence lines and adapted for the use of artillery from the 16th century onwards. Evora and its surrounding region have a rich history that go back more than five millennia, as demonstrated by nearby megalithic monuments, such as the Anta do San Bajiro and the Cromalec dos Almendres, which I think we'll have to go back and explore some more sometime. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like us to. According to André de Resende, a writer in the 1500s, Evora would have been the headquarters of the troops of the Roman general Sertorio, who together with the Lusitanians would have faced the power of Rome. It was nice to see a city with so much history maintained, and an interesting contrast with the Roman walls on the right hand side of this road and contemporary looking flats on the left. We arrived at the Roman Temple of Evora, and wow, how cool it was to see a building of this age. It is believed this structure dates back to the first century, which is just incredible. Here's a drawing from the 1800s of what it is thought to have looked like. We pulled up outside the temple and got off the bikes for a closer look of what it looks like now. The temple is believed to have been constructed in honour of Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus, who was venerated as a god during and after his rule. While the building was destroyed during the 5th century by invading Germanic peoples, its appearance is considered one of the best preserved Roman ruins on the peninsula. We hope you enjoyed that bit of history and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also why not click on one of the video windows to see more. Thanks for watching.